Hey there YouTube, I'm Ikitsu, this is the Ikitsu Times, welcome to my channel, welcome to Civilization 6. So we're going to be playing this one as China, and we're actually going to be aiming specifically for a type of victory here. We're going to be going for a cultural victory. Uh, I think China is actually really well positioned in this game to go for cultural victories, so that's why we're kind of going through that. And I'm going to be trying to explain my thought process as I try to get a cultural victory. Now one of the things that you want to make sure that you're doing is not worrying too much in the early game about going for your type of victory. The early game is pretty much the same no matter which faction you are playing. Um, and the way that you play is pretty similar for the first quite a while and you don't have to worry too too much about deciding how you want to win uh, until you get to later on in there. Now we haven't got exactly the best start. One of our opening tiles is a, a mountain there and there's nowhere really to, for, I, for me to move. I could have moved north one but that would have been kind of risky and not that beneficial um, and would have lost me the really good um, wheat tiles that are right south of me. This is also not great because I do have to uh, build up these wheat tiles before they're any good. They're not really good as base tiles. There are some ones out there that just are like really good. They've got like four yield or they've got even like seven yield or six yield. I think actually is the highest. It's uh, like, like there's some that are two food, two production and three gold I think are out there. And there's a lot that, uh, not a lot, but there's some that are like two food, one production, three gold. Those are really, really good. Um, there's also like three food, one production, all those sorts of things there. Like here's an example of one that's a little bit stronger. If that had been in our border, I would have considered taking that for a starting one. Instead, we got one that's kind of okay, but like an extra coin is not really that big a deal. By contrast, to being able to do uh, two food, one production, just because the growth tiles are so important there. But um, starts are important on certain difficulties. We are on Emperor difficulty. If I had a worse start, it might be worth reconsidering um, playing that one, just resetting it. If you're playing against real people, of course, it doesn't matter quite as much in some senses because they'll be on the same sort of footing as you in many respects. They'll they'll probably not have ideal starts as well, and also, like, uh, they don't cheat. Your friends probably aren't cheating as much as the AI in this game. It's actually really, really bad how much it cheats in this one. Um, I actually think that the difficulty ramp up is a bit too extreme just because Emperor difficulty is quite low on the uh, difficulty tier. It's like the third hardest, but the AI is willing to cheat very, very heavily in the opening. I think they start with a worker or two, um, which is a big deal. Like that sort of a tempo bonus in a, a game can be uh, very, very meaningful, but it, it's to make up for the AI sort of lack of functioning in the later game. Uh, we're going to be working that tile for a little while, and I don't mind working that for a little bit just to rush out that uh, scout there. All right, so uh, we'll do one more turn of uh, that, so. Okay, uh, let's explore down south towards this direction here. No particular reason. These are really good tiles around there. Good growth, good production. If there's a river near there, of course, we'll want to expand to it, uh, probably. But we have to get a builder for the time being here. I don't mind switching over to wheat, however. Oh, actually, we did get this tile. Okay, so... Because the fact that it's uh, three production, three production is the tipping point where I feel like it's better than two food. Um, two production is okay, but not necessarily better than uh, what I could have got elsewhere. All right, uh, let's go here. The reason I didn't do it last time was it put me weak enough that they potentially could have finished me off. So if they decided to attack me there. Mysticism uh, bonus there, not necessarily that great. So one of the reasons, though, why China, I think, is uh, good in this difficulty against the AI uh, for this sort of tourism or type victory is because um, the AI is very, very aggressive. Like, especially on the higher difficulties, the AI is likely to try and kick your ass uh, very frequently. So being able to fight defensively uh, is really strong, and China's probably one of the better defensive civs out there, just because the Great Wall bonus and the Crouching Tiger is a very strong defensive unit. But not necessarily the best for offense. Uh, in a standard game, I think, against real people, apparently, like, offensive strength is one of the things that matters most. Uh, that's not really what uh, China's all about, so... Uh, being able to defend yourself is much more important in games against the AI, because you'll never outproduce them early. Um, you will later in the game, but by the time it's later in the game, you don't need huge bonuses to beat people um, in terms of just crushing the AI uh, late game, because they're, again, they're not, not most intelligent. All right, send this guy up there. We are in continents, um, which is not necessarily the best, but it's what we're going to be doing. I think that's a pretty good setup, all in all. Continents, I think it gives you a little bit of variety. I, I think that in, uh, in some senses, like, people are right when they say that you should play on Pangea, but 
I mean, it's just not as fun when you don't have a reason to pull out, like, the naval units and stuff like that. Alright. Two more turns till we get our worker here. It's gonna be nice because uh, Chinese workers have an extra build. Quite good. And kill this guy off. And then waste a turn getting across there. Fantastic. Alright, so I don't think we're going to get a bonus to foreign trade anytime soon, but we will be getting the other boost pretty soon. A little bit more construction. And once we get this worker, um, I kind of want to go double up on the wheat. Actually, we'll wait till they're both improved and then we'll double up on the wheat. It would be even better once we got the cows. I think they're pretty good. Because then we can have uh, all three of those sort of going at the same rate there. Oh, candy. It's a religious city-state. That'll be good. That'll get us a pantheon. Quite probably. Uh, and we know what all that is, so we don't have to explore there quite as badly. Um, settler could be good, but we don't necessarily need it this early. Let's go ahead and get that slinger. Want to make sure that we're working the right tiles here. Yep, okay. And then uh, move over here, upgrade that, and then start working that as well. Then have to work all the walk all the way over there to get the mine, which is kind of a pain. But all right, yeah, thought that might be the case. I thought that also might be a land bridge, something more substantial. But turns out it wasn't. Um, we can go ahead and work that tile now. Now that it's a lot of food, that's uh, worth a bigger bonus than it was previously. Let's go ahead and start working animal husbandry, maybe. Yeah, we'll get Animal Husbandry. And then we have to walk all the way over there, which is going to take us a little while, but it's not too bad. Now to our north is kind of a wasteland, so it's a bit of a waste trying to explore it, but uh, still want to figure out what's up there just in case there's goody huts, especially in these northern regions there tends to be goody huts. So we'll send our warrior back up there pretty soon, but oh, our scout leveled up. was not paying attention to when that happened. Let's go ahead and give him Alpine. I find that the better uh, of the two upgrades. It'll let's get onto the sheep and then cross, so. Might want to build a city down here. It's not a terrible spot. It's not a great spot either, though, but it would get us the coastal boost. You typically want to get just like one coastal city. The rest of them you want to sort of have uh, using districts. But however you do it is however you end up doing it. All right, um, let's go get a settler. Alright, that boosts our masonry. We're going to go ahead and do the uh, dirty trick here of selling our worker once it's used up its charges. I think that that is pretty well known as a kind of dirty, cheaty thing that people do here, but I don't mind it that much. Alright, um, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, city produce another builder instead. And we're going to go ahead and purchase a settler if we can. 320, so that'll be like four turns we'll be able to afford it. It's not bad. Not seeing too many barbarians around us, which is nice. Uh, sometimes you just get absolutely wrecked by barbarians, and it's the worst thing. It's like where you get barbarians spawning to your north, south, east, and west. It's like just all four car cardinal directions, and they just swarm you. Like they just all come in at the same time, and like two of them have cavalry. And you're just like, what is this shit? It's the worst. There's probably some ways to play around it that I don't know, but like I'm I'm lazy when it comes to building units, in case you haven't noticed in this one. But I've been scouting pretty well, so I know what's around me to a certain extent. I made sure to kill that camp so that I couldn't spawn stuff on us. Um, you know, I was doing the stuff that you kind of need to do there, but... Alright, we'll get go ahead and grab Astrology. We want to get at least one district up. Getting the Religious District in your capital is usually a good idea. Um, Alright, we're going to need to get rid of that, but there is a wonder down here, I can tell. So, we'll send the uh, this guy back down there. It'll take him a while to get there, but that's fine. Alright, so we need to get uh, foreign trade. Yeah, there we go. So this is going to be something we want to build towards if we can. Um build there that's sort of close enough not really actually hmm I guess we could always 
build a uh, what's it called next to the mountain um, um, shit no there's not even any there yeah so we're gonna build a city like here I guess and then build or even coastal and uh, get bonuses from being adjacent to the mountain instead what do I want to get here cow and uh, we do have enough now for that purchase don't we I think we do Let's go ahead and get another scout, maybe? No, let's not get a scout. Let's get another builder. Let's keep building builders. Uh, I, I'm really stuck on what I feel like I want to build here. Let's get a warrior, actually, just to be safe. Uh, you know, also never know when you're going to get just randomly attacked by some, some bullshit uh, AI. Alright. Check up there for any goody huts. Usually high saturation of it up there. We'll probably build potentially. Well, actually, I don't know. Free recon unit. That's actually a really good bonus. Like this is such a nice cultural um, wonder to get. Problem only. The only problem here is like I, I can't get the freshwater bonus no matter where I go here. This would be the best spot in some senses, or here would be the best spot. Like, right where that barbarian camp is, actually. Alright. Okay, so we don't need that production right now. Let's go ahead, back to food. Um, we might want to rush Stonehenge to guarantee a religion, and you can of course uh, rush things as China a little bit better than you can with other factions, but that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to get it. The AI cheats so severely in this that they can still get it, even against China, um, which is, you know, just not really that fair, but is the way the game is. Alright, we might be on an island here. Nope, there's a city-state at the very least near us. Another one, rather. Alright, we got ourselves that. Let's go ahead and grab Divine Spark. It's great for cultural victories. Not good for much else. I'm going to start founding a city here, actually. We're going to found our first city over there and then work on this uh, one for the wonder a little bit later. But the natural wonder is actually quite good for uh, tourism victory as well. It's just I can't I can't uh, really work it properly right now. Yeah, there we go. That'll get us a little bit of a science boost, which is really nice for us since we're not going to be building those academies quite quickly. All right, and this guy might move up because the uh, guy is moving towards it. All right. Oh yeah, someone already built Stonehenge. Fantastic. I was worried that might happen. So of course it did. A physician without a this is the thing about the AI, they cheat so hard. Uh, good times, good times. Alright, well, let's make sure we're working the right tiles here. I'm pretty sure we are, but uh, yeah. I, uh, I don't have anything I need to build too badly, but... Um, let's go ahead and work on masonry here. Let's get this guy chop this forest over here and we can go ahead and get a holy site somewhere that would have actually been really nice that would have been really quite good for us but that spot would be quite nice okay we'll wait till we got the money to build it there for now though we'll go ahead and build another builder um we'll start working our way over that way oh shit actually never mind Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, move this guy back, I guess. Move this guy on top of that. Under the white cliffs another natural wonder. It's another cultural one, too. So this is a good spawn in some senses. As bad as that, I'm going to get wrecked by barbarians somehow. As tends to be the case. 
like the horse barbarians are such bullshit in this game. They're so strong. All right, so we can actually gang up and start beating that one down pretty quickly. Probably should have done that the other way around, just in the off chance that I managed to kill it, but yeah, no, we barely put a dent in this guy. Didn't think we would, but you never know. Sometimes you get lucky. I don't know the mechanics of it, though. I don't know if we're allowed to get that lucky. Toronto's over there. It's fine. It's nothing that special about them. And uh, we're not really building that many buildings, so it's not as though we can actually make that good a use of them, but still. Okay. Well, if we're going to build a coastal city here, actually, we don't need to build a coastal city here, necessarily. So we could build it, like, over here. That might be fine. Did that guy die from hitting my, uh, slinger? Huh. Shit. Well... Alright, so these things periodically spawn. I don't know if his it's actually properly spawning. Like, it'll eventually start spawning things intentionally. Alright. Off that. It gets hot. Start working on the holy site over there. And this guy. I want to start having him chop up to that wood over there. Chopping is just so important, and it's really strong in this game, so you tend to do it a lot more than you would in other games. What the hell is that? Alright, Toronto's got closed borders, so... Alright, what else can we do here? Get up here, maybe? Check that out. Okay. So it does look like we're just on an island. Which is rare. I don't normally start on islands, especially not with this many city states. This is a pretty good start for us. Um, don't actually know if it is though. For all I know, it's a bad thing to start on islands. Like in, in, in Civ Five, you got big bonuses for knowing about other civilizations that were ahead of you. But at the same time, knowledge of sailing has been boosted. Uh, we can go ahead and work on. What do we want to work on here? Probably a builder here, too. Okay. Alright, another goody hut. Fantastic. That's what we're looking for. Now, hopefully we'll be able to get our religion relatively quickly. When wasteful war. But uh, not only can we get that, but we can start building our great wall segments now, too. Actually, there's a lot less build points than I thought we were going to get. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and get irrigation. Because we have got something that can use that pretty close by. Alright, so we want to kill this guy definitely with our slinger. But uh, we'll hit it with the club just to get it weaker. I think we can actually just barely cram a city over there. So that's pretty nice. We could also build a city to the north, probably. Alright, well... Forty gold. It's not terrible, but... I'm doing so poorly at getting, like, my boosts, and China does benefit more from boosts than normal, so... Not doing well at getting those is pretty, pretty negative. Alright, so two more turns till that pops up. We can build a Great Wall segment here, and then build a Great Wall segment there, and just continue building that upward. Uh, actually, alternatively, I can go ahead and uh, upgrade this guy. Then this guy can uh, heal up a bit. Perfect. That, that works out pretty well, I think. Alright. Well, we've monopolized the goody huts on this island, which I think is actually pretty okay. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure I would have been able to stop them with an attack there. 
Um, hmm. This is going to be close, actually. I have to absolutely make sure that I kill it on the attack with my Slinger, which is not necessarily that easy, as you've noticed. Sometimes they just, uh, do something like suicide in your units or whatever. Yeah, no, so... This is a decisive victory. That's, like, not what we want there. Okay, we gotta skip a turn and hope that our guy survives. Alright, that's perfect, actually. That worked out well. Like, we ended up wasting a little bit of it, but... Let's go ahead and start working towards, uh... Early Empire. Actually, no, we're getting our district up, so let's go State Workforce. Head up here. Level up our scout again. Move after attacking, that's fine. It's not great, but uh, him getting the ability after that is what becomes quite good. Uh, like, I can risk attacking this guy and not be able to get the bonus, but I don't think I want to risk it that, that badly. Okay, he didn't attack. So. Okay, that's uh, every corner of this island. Perfect. This guy's level 2, so we'll bring him back to base, and we'll actually just have him camp there until uh, basically the end of the game. Like, realistically, he's going to be there for a while, but... Um, Alright, we can start working on the culture of the city now, though. We could also start heading out like to here to cut down these trees. Just boost our production open a little bit more. Let's go ahead and get bronze working, see if there's anywhere that uh, that would apply. We can also build more settlers here, but we could also build another builder since our builder is going to get uh, chopped after this uh, one tree that he cuts down. So we would love to start buying stuff in Beijing, get that place jump started a little bit better. There we go, that's going to be archery. Perfect. Alright, and we've got quite a bit of cash at this point, too. Let's check to see how we're doing on great per great people points. Um, okay, so we're on two great people points, they're on two as well, but we're going to keep ahead of this guy, um, who's at one per turn. So we should be able to get one. Uh, we, if we build another district here in Beijing, we might be able to jump ahead. Uh, I might actually be Getting the wrong tile there. Nope, that's the right tile. Alright, so we need to start chopping down here, and I need to buy a worker down there for that. Um, we can probably buy one now, actually. Alright. Start beating the crap out of that guy just for the hell of it. Alright. So just accelerating our uh, worker production by using workers. Um, now this one... I could go ahead and get the hanging gardens, and that could be quite strong. But I don't think I'll do that. Let's go ahead and get the monument for now. This worker, it's down there. But uh, more importantly, in Beijing, let's go ahead and buy a builder. Actually, we were going to get another settler, weren't we? Okay. Well, no, we'll build this at first, actually. Uh, it's actually a tough call. This is a very tough call. Um, not that one, but that one. Oh, shit. Alright, we're going to have a bit of a problem this second here. Okay, this guy can actually go. Um, okay. I think cutting this down would actually be the most beneficial thing for the uh, short term here. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to start moving units, flooding them over towards there. Where's that slinger? Okay, so defensive line sort of like here. The problem is that, like, um, a barbarian near 
cavalry has seen us, they're going to start spawning cavalry at us, and uh, hopefully they'll attack Candy instead of me, but can only hope so much for that. I'm not getting quite as much growth out of Zapan as I would like. Maybe I have to also get uh, also some other stuff creator. there, but... Alright. Let's go ahead and get archery. Let's check where iron is. There's some iron in the middle of nowhere. Some more iron in the middle of nowhere. So I could get that if I built, like, a city, like, here or something like that. Which is pretty bad, but it's not super terrible. Um, like, I could make that work. Um, there's also probably, like, what's is that charming? No, I need breathtaking, I think, for what I need. Okay, well, hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, build an improvement there. We'll chop this. Which is going to take away from the city a little bit temporarily, but I think that's going to be more useful in the the way of things. Alright, so scrape that away. Um, and then hopefully get to the sheep over here to work them. Alright, still got three builds on this guy. Uh, might want to go down there and chop that. Rainforest is better because it provides both food and uh, production, but it's also better because you can't do anything with those tiles. Like, you have to use those tiles sort of as is, whereas with the forest tiles, which I don't like cutting down as much, especially the forest of the river, you can turn them into lumber mills, and lumber mills are actually extremely good tiles. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop that there while we're at it. And this guy is just going to sit here for, like, the rest of the game. Okay, so... could also go ahead and uh, scrape up that, and that marshland would be worth quite a lot of uh, food. Oh, shit, that guy slipped past me. Bastard. Alright, so how are we doing here? Well, we're keeping up, but it would be really good for me if I could get past that guy in terms of great person production. Alright, I need to hop up and hit that guy again. Right, I should be able to finish this guy off, regardless of which way he moves, but you never know. Alright, and we also need to start working, thinking about, like, a navy. We need to get a navy so that we can get off this island. Which is going to be not the easiest. Could get a good stretch of Great Wall around here and maybe Petra it. That would be a good combination Shot potentially. Into the air. Oh, okay. Well, uh, he's sort of stuck there, so I can heal with this guy instead. Okay. Let's grab sailing. Scrape that. We don't need the shrine since we've already got the uh, that part. So what we could potentially do is keep a close eye out on this and once we get to the right point we could do a purchase of it. Um, we have to wait. So this guy's going to have in 10 turns have 45 so we could go 10 turns and check I think. So hopefully I'll remember. But in the meantime let's go ahead and get ourselves a uh, new expansion. Uh, how are we doing here? Yeah, these are good tiles. Beijing stuck in growth uh, because I've done a shitty job of organizing the tiles, but that's okay. Once we grow over to here, that's going to be fine. Alright, looks like we can finish this guy off too. This is the nicest the uh, barbarian campments have ever been to me. I'm actually guessing that uh, these guys wiped out the horses like Candy wiped out the horses for me. Okay, well, we got two builds left on this guy. Not sure when this is going to pop another tile, so let's go ahead and just... Actually, no, we'll take the swamp here. We're looking for population growth here, so...
Once we get sailing as well, I can also go down to here and start uh, working that. So that's in one turn. Perfect. Oh yeah, no, Candy took that out. Thank goodness. For all that cavalry could spawn on my ass. It's another camp it that showed up over there. A strong economy. So that's uh, that's lovely. I'm sort of rushing my units around trying to get at these, but it's not really a huge deal right now. Alright, so this is a terrible place for a great wall section because you can't make it adjacent to other ones, so I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to use it for something else. Let's get horseback riding. They'd be a little bit faster and more reactive to this sort of situation. Early Empire. It's great. And uh, this chop will either get me another worker, which would be kind of useless right now, or it'll go to the right place and uh, get me that, but we'll find out. Alright, so Beijing is going to be a little bit better now. Should be. These things tend to not update properly. Alright. So, we're going to lose that worker first. That's fine. Nope. Alright, that's kind of useless. Um, this one's not beside a anything in particular, so we can go ahead and cut that down. You know what? I actually don't mind getting a holy site here. Kind of want to get a holy site. This tile's a lot more useless, but I wouldn't get. I don't need the religion points actually. Um, I mean we could also buy towards there and then get two there. That would be pretty strong. But, again, I don't really feel like I need the religion points really that badly, so we can build there. Alright, so we're gonna work our way towards there and get those guys before they start spawning uh, swordsmen, because that's what they will spawn if they're near iron. But, uh, yeah, I need to get a city actually also near that iron deposit, and one of them, like, probably here is what I'm gonna do. Again, not a great spot, but it'll be okay for tourism. Uh, this guy's done. Let's go ahead and bleed him. Alright, so we'll upgrade him. And that got us an envoy with one of these guys. Fantastic. Also want to train a galley. Alright, so we've got a couple good chops here, and this is going to really accelerate this process, I think. It's kind of less interesting when you end up spawning on an island like this, but I've never actually spawned on an island that's this uh, perfect. Like, this is a really, really good spawn in some senses. Probably gonna get wasted because, like, it turns out that you don't want to be spawned in a place that's like this, this uh, calm, but whatever. Alright. I might even want to go ahead and build another one right away. Let's get the walls first, actually. Um, we do want those walls for the purpose of getting to engineering and stuff like that. Uh, let's go down here. That's exactly where I was thinking it would be good. Um, so it's good knowing the game's con confirming sort of that uh, I feel that way. It's going to be a long time before I can actually access the aqueducts, though, which is how I make that a livable city. So that's going to be a little bit suck, but not too bad. All right, classical era. Man on a horse is spiritually as well as physically bigger than a man. Look back over the past. All right, so we've got access to horsemen, but we have no horses hooked up. This is a wood not next to a river, so we can chop that safely. Um, well, are we going to have two sea resources anytime soon? Not anytime soon necessarily. Now, I could also build on this side of it. I think you can actually even build on top of the resource. And still get the bonus. So we'll think about doing it that way, in fact. Because we'd still be in range of this tile. Which would be what we want. The really questionable thing here is, what do we want to do here? Should be able to get the uh, Jade relatively soon, but um, let's 
do four turns of this, I guess. Which is civic as well. Political philosophy, by far the best one to get. Someone's been eliminated, probably just a city-state. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Okay. So, how are we doing here on these... So we are... We should be getting four great people points. They're getting three now. So I'm going to have to keep a very close eye on that. Uh, we're only getting five points... Or 3.1 um, religion points per turn. Which is probably not enough, actually. Alright, we'll start getting a monument down here. I'm just going to put this guy up here so that I can see around this uh, iron mine. So that I don't have to worry about barbarians spawning by it. These guys, for their last build, I'm going to have them go down here. Like, we could chop this because we're never going to be able to actually collect from it. So it would actually be a good idea in many respects to do that. But Alright, you know what? Let's build it on top of this coffee. We'll see how it does. Yeah, that is some strong stuff there. All right, um, we definitely don't want to build uh, anything that encourages this place to grow culturally right now. And I actually kind of want to make sure it's not using a culture growing tile, but looks like we're going to be doing that, just that. Actually, no, we'll, we'll do that one just to make sure that we're not getting culture from there. Uh, for now, definitely not the monument. Uh, we might want that, but um, you know what? Actually, there's not too many tiles that I can great wall from here. So maybe we don't have to worry about that that badly, but go ahead and get the builder right away. Uh, you know what? Actually, yeah, it's going to be a little while, but... So I don't have to worry too much about that. We'll go ahead and make that our tile. Alright, gold per turn. Looking pretty good. Could definitely go a little bit higher, but that's always the case. Yeah, so I think that we're going to call it an episode pretty soon here. But we've got pretty good. Uh, we've got a pretty good basic startup here. Like we're just focusing on defending our own borders. We're just trying to keep ourselves safe from all these barbarians. Just trying to find good expansion spots and trying to get a, a good number of them as well. But. Yeah, this is working out pretty okay for us. And maybe the side would have been better. Hmm, it's a really hard call, honestly. Someone else got a great profit. Oh shit. I think they might have bought it. Okay, just as long as we get one though is all I really care about. And these guys are at two, we're at four, so we're likely to keep ahead. There's, I think, two more, probably. So let's check religion, actually. Two out of four. Yeah, there's two more. Beijing is going to be a little bit stronger because of that. That's good. Keep those as they are. Uh, I just realized this is a useless uh, Great Wall tile unless I loop the Great Wall from there. So we'll probably do that, actually. Like, we're going to be missing one useful thing, but... Alright. Change policies here. We're not building any wonders right now, so I don't need that. Oligarchy experience for combat units is not that great, because we're not going to be getting in too many fights. Uh, so we'll go through Classic Republic, uh, just because that is the best bonus that we can be getting right now. Uh, we don't need the Double Strength Envoys, because we haven't met any other places yet. We can go ahead and reduce our unit maintenance down there. And I'm liking the idea of faster builder, builder production, because we need builders pretty badly. Alright, so that all works out pretty well. And then we can go ahead and uh, axe this builder. Get us up to 606 bucks. Not bad. Alright. Don't need a shrine, I don't feel. Um, let's go ahead and work on another settler. Every time like we get up to this population, I can build a settler, and it's not that bad. Send these guys down here. 
Actually, I kind of don't mind keeping a guy up here just to keep an eye on things. Another one over here. Just have them spread out so I don't see any more barbarian units uh, spawning. Alright, they want to trade routes. I mean, I've sort of gone a long way without actually having trade routes, but... You know what? Um, might be a good idea for me to just buy one at this point in time. We're sitting on quite a lot of money here, so I can afford that. But we'll send it to Candy first, or Toronto, or wherever, depending on if they want one. Nope, okay. So this should ruin the mission for Tusa, so we should be able to switch out to something else. Sometimes the wheel turns slowly, but it turns. I like to say I practice military. All right, so we'll send this to Candy, just to get that bonus point there, get up to suzerain status. Um, I forget what the suzerain bonus for Candy is, actually. Uh, every time we discover a new natural wonder, we uh, get a relic and earn 50 plus 50% 50 faith from all relics. Well, we don't have a relic, but uh, it's also going to be hard for us to find any more natural wonders. Like, there's one over here that we could actually exploit. That's also a near iron, actually. So we could build a city, like, over here and get a pretty good spot there. Okay, why don't we do that then, instead of building it up in this tundra wasteland here. Yeah, whatever. Get engineering, don't mind that. We do want, uh, we do want engineering actually, because if some of our cities would benefit from it, but... Let's send this to Hattusa, actually no, we'll send it to Toronto and we'll try and do that quest there. Um, Go ahead and build two galleys so that we can get that quest done. And I think that's going to be it for this episode. So we're going to be moving along uh, pretty quickly from here on out and uh, continue chugging along and trying to get ourselves into a good position. You'll notice that we haven't worried at all about getting that high a culture. Our culture is only plus 11, which is not really that high, but this is sort of explodes in the later game where we can start putting down tons and tons of these... Um, little things here and we need to make sure that we're keeping up on that as we continue along once you get to sort of uh different growth rates you'll probably be building these more often um just faster but i think as well we can even go ahead and get that but yeah it, it's sort of the way i think that we're going to try this strategy out i don't necessarily have a hundred percent guarantee that it will work but i feel like this is actually a pretty strong strategy for uh this particular faction so who knows maybe it isn't but i feel like it probably is it's not a good guarantee, but, you know. Alright, so we'll go over here, we'll chop that. But in the meantime, I hope you found this episode enjoyable, and of course, as always, I hope to see you all next time.